What's going on plugins welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to talk about what's going on with a dude there and Kentucky basketball before we get into this video Make sure you drop a like and if you're new here sub to the channel and become a part of the family now Let's get into the video. We're officially in the all season for Kentucky basketball Players will be declaring for the 2024 NBA draft and entering the transfer portal One player has already made a shocking decision and it looks like Kentucky will be off to a rough start next season a dude the arrow has decided to enter the transfer portal. Nobody expected a player like him to do something like this. I was shocked that he's leaving Kentucky. It seemed like things were going great for him and the fans loved him. This upcoming season, he was expected to be a key piece for them and be a leader for this team. This past season, he averaged 7.2 points, 5 rebounds, 1.1 assists, and he was shooting 49% from the field and 33% from three. He was a solid player for Kentucky. He started a lot of games this past season, was a physical, versatile player, and was a solid two-way player. He could guard multiple positions and play multiple positions. So this is a big loss for Kentucky. They really needed to keep a player like him. So a dude there will leave in Kentucky can mean a few things. The first thing I thought about was that some of the freshmen that are on the team are coming back for the sophomore season, and they got the 2024 recruiting class coming in who would demand minutes Kentucky currently has six freshmen coming in for next season so this leaves a dude Darrow as the odd man out he's going into his third year and you already know coach Cal likes giving his incoming freshmen the bulk of the minutes the other reason could be maybe he just doesn't want to play for Kentucky anymore and he wants to go to another team where he have a bigger role to showcase his skill set because I'm gonna be honest with y'all plugins he can definitely go to another power five college and be a first or second option and I'm sure he has dreams of playing in the NBA coach Cal always brings in top recruits and this could cause him to come off the bench next season and have a small role so him transferring to another college gives him an opportunity to have his own team and boost his draft stock he's already on the radar for nba scouts and for the 2025 mock drafts he's projected to be a late first round pick he can easily boost his draft stock if he balls out for a team where he's the main option so i'm curious to see what college will get him he's the type of player who can average a double double on the season with a few blocks per game this won't be the last player that will enter the transfer portal from kentucky i feel like one of the freshmen is going to shock all of us and announce a return into college basketball but it won't be with Kentucky it's gonna be for a different team it's about to be a crazy offseason for them I expect coach Cal to be more active than usual in the transfer portal last season he only got one player we might see him get three or four players I'll be paying close attention to see what's going on with Kentucky this offseason and dropping videos to keep y'all updated so make sure I'll be on the lookout for new videos how do y'all feel about a dude there entering the transfer portal will more players be leaving Kentucky drop your opinions in the comments drop a like on the video and sub to the channel make sure y'all turn on post notifications so you know when i post i appreciate y'all and i'll see you in the next video till next time